So do you have any advice to young grappians as we, as we embark on this journey and early career rheumatologists and trainees in the young grappa group? Just like I say to all my people who are trainees with me, don't forget, work hard and keep focused on what you're doing, but don't lose sight of the bigger picture. Uh, there is a life outside PSA after all, and, uh, and uh, that's the most important thing. But if you work hard within the time that you're working on PSA, then you'll get good results. And it's an exciting time for psoriatic arthritis. We've got both the Hippocrates Consortium in Europe and the AMA or AMP, I should say, initiatives in the US. And these are likely to make great strides in the coming years in, in psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis. So I think it's an exciting time to work in this field. And the young grappa people will be at the forefront of the next wave of people able to, and will be able to implement the knowledge that we gain from these um, uh, investigations. So it's good to be, I think it's good, you're in a great position. And I think the next 10 or 20 years are going to be all yours to implement. Yeah. And with, with a lot of guidance from, from, the, from all of you, of course. We'll still be around, but I think you guys are going to drive it. So thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, your, your experience and, and these stories, I think, will really inspire young Grappians and, and early career rheumatologists and, and trainees. So thank you for answering these questions and joining me today, Dr. Hallowell. You're welcome. Thank you for asking me.